Hey there! Welcome back to my channel. Let's continue with our episode. In the previous episode, we have covered how we can work with our variables and what other things are available for the types, right? So we have seen there are two uh, major types are available, basic types and composite types. And we have pretty much covered everything uh, for the basic types. Some of the advanced topic are there, like you know, in terms of the types uh, and the basic types, which is we're going to cover in our functionality section. But uh, today we are going to cover the composite types, at least minimum the array and the slice. Let's try to understand what is array and the slice. Both of the data types are pretty much same, right? So it is sharing common behavior and it is used to, to store list of values, but there are certain scenarios or there are certain use cases are there where we need to use array and we need to use slice. Let's try to declare an array, right? So we are going to declare an array uh, just like we did for our variables, right? So per my family, this is a kind of size of the array, right? And what kind of uh, data type we are going to use to for, for that specific array? It's going to be like string of array, right? And uh, while you are declaring an array, so make sure like you are giving your the number of the array, like what is the size of the array here, and what type of data type we are going to use to, to create that array. So you can use any kind of like basic types. Uh, it may be integer, it may be float or string or boolean, whatever, right? So this is a kind of string array. It's called my family, and you can see this is a kind of peak size of the tree, right? So my family is limited, so we have only three people. Let's try to assign some value right here. So my family can be in the zero index, we can just put like J. And my family index one, we can assign Jane. And my family index two, we can assign Carol. Now we can see we have assigned all the values as part of the capacity. And if we try to assign one more value, as an example, I'm going to assign here the third element, and the fourth element. This is going to be someone else. No, you, you cannot do that, right? Uh, because it says like, you know, it's invalid array index three because it's allowed only, only this size, this specific size. So this is the way we can assign an array. So let's try to print this array, all right? So FMT. I have to print Ellen. You can say like uh, my my family will be uh, default parameter. So my family. Now if we run this application from here, you can see like and the array is printing out the, all the family members here, right? And let's take a look at another way of declaring an array, right? So I'm going to just uh, commit it out all these things from here. So here again my family my family and this is the kind of like you know, shorter way as i said while we are having uh, the initial value of the variable then we can go for it uh, because at that moment our uh, variable can infer like what type of data it is right there right so let's use that specific uh, the technique right so again i need to just assign a kind of number right here so what is the size of the array i need to define it right then let's let's provide the the type of the uh, what is the type of the array here and after that we need to just uh, uh, put a kind of pair of braces here so this is not something like other language does you know we can just assign a kind of square bracket we can assign some kind of value this is not going to work like that way so go is uh, uh, it's it's following pretty much a little bit different type of syntax in this case you can assign like uh, the first element going to be like j right and second element will be going to be like like jane and third element will be going to be like curl all right, so this is also another way of declaring an array. So in this case, we are declaring a variable and we are assigning the size of the array and what type of the data type it will be that we are assigning here. And we are giving all the elements here on the time of initialization, right? In Go, array have a fixed size. So, and their length cannot be changed after declaration. So therefore, removing an element from the array, it's not a kind of direct operation. So if you, if you wish to remove an element from here, then you need to do a little bit of workaround. Definitely, we will cover that also uh, in our in our functionality or implementation. But the reassign of that specific value of that index is possible. So how we can do that? Say my, my family, let's say my family and index index two. We are going to assign like Kate, right? So now, if we are going to run this application, then instead of Carol, it's going to say Kate. Can you see J, Jen, Kate, right? So this is how it is working. 
So now let's take a look like you know, how we can use this slice also, right? So in this case, let's say I'm going to market this one as a kind of array, right? And a slice. Now let's declare a slice here. So bar, my friends will be string. Perfect. So now can you see, this is the declaration of the slice. And, and if you're going to uncomment this one, if you're going to uncomment this one, you can see uh, what is the difference between, between these two, like you know, declaration of array and declaration of slice. So in the particularly in array, we, are, we need to define a kind of uh, pick size. So if we are going to remove this one, then it will be go will be considered this one as a kind of slice. This is not a kind of uh, array anymore, right? But this is the exact difference. So why we are using array? If you have certain uh, operation where maybe on the time of initialization, you know like what will be the size of that specific list, right? Then you can assign it to array, right? So that means uh, throughout of your execution of the application, it, your memory will be not grow, right? So it will stay same. Right. Maybe it can reduce, like let's say you can remove one element or something like that. But the slice, it, it doesn't have that case, like where you can, your uh, your array or your specific list can be grow, right? So let's say my, my family is limited, like only three people. Maybe in future one more people will come, that's a different story. But right now, uh, you can see my friends are, are, are dynamic, like it's growing day by day, right? And, and I can see like in my Discord channel, like you, know, you people just came up yeah, and becoming my brain, so that's really wonderful. But um, uh, yeah, this is how it's going to be grow more. Maybe uh, people, more people will come to become my friend, right? Uh, then, then it's always welcome. So in that case, what we are going to do, we are keeping our, we are going to use our slides to use certain this kind of behavior, like in future dynamically it will be grow. Then use the slides. So then, if you are not going to assign any kind of number, then Go will consider, yeah, this is a slice and this is a kind of array. So that is the difference. Let's try to try to print it out accordingly. Let's say my friends, friends, and this is going to be like my my friends, right? So if we are going to run at this moment, let's say whole application, right? Now can you see this? It is empty, right? And if we are going to if we are going to add some values, how we can add the values? Now let's try to add some value to the slice. So how we can add some value to the slice? Let's say my friends, and we're going to use one kind of the helper function, which is going to help us to, to add uh, the value to our slice. This is called append, right? Then you need to provide the which slice you are going to add, add it, right? Then you can say like my friend, right? Then what will be your your element? Then we can say like, no, Mike, Mike, right? Then let's say Adam, right? So these are my close friends, so I'm going to add it like this way. So let's say if I'm going to run the application, now it's gonna work, right? And it will show up like, see, my Canada. And in future, we wish to add more friends as an example. In this case, how we can do that? My friends, then again, append the similar way, let's say, right? Then here we can, we can add Sam, right? So if you're going to run this application, then you can see the new value, right? Mike, Adam, and Sam. All right, so now you might have a thinking like, hey, Jay, we know how to declare array, right? And we know how to declare slice. But what about uh, the multidimensional, right? So if we need to uh, create a kind of multidimensional array and the slice, how it's going to work? Let's try to have a quick example right here for multidimensional array. So I'm going to create a kind of course array, which is going to be multidimensional. Let's say my courses, right? And this is going to be uh, maybe two courses, right? And two courses will be having two different different languages, right? And it is going to be a kind of string, right? And now you can see we are we are starting to add our elements right here, right? The same way we just uh, we did right here, okay? Without uh, instead of that square bracket, we need to use the brace here. So this this specific array we need to add it right here. This is one our first array, and this is our second array, and we cannot add the third one. Can you see? It has only size two, and you can if you can extend the size three, then it'll be it'll be work accordingly. So let's try to stick with like uh, this way. And now let's say here we are going to we are going to assign some because this array exactly has a two value, right? So in this case, what we need to do? We need to assign let's say go, and let's say node.js. Node.js, right? So we cannot assign the third value right here. It's going to give you the error, right? Because it is it is like size is two. Here, then in again here also we can say like you no know, AWS, AWS, and 
um, DHCP, right? And you can, you can say here that CDK, CDK, and follow me. Follow me, right? Which is, we are writing uh, pretty much infrastructure as a code. So these are the courses are available in my course. As you can see, it's a multi-dimensional array. So let's try to print it out. Let's say FMT and dot print Alan. And here we can directly say, um, yeah. Available courses will be uh, default from it. This is going to be like my my courses. So now if you're going to run the application, right, then it's going to work exactly the same way. Can, you can see like my courses will be, this is the this is the whole array, right? And you can see inside this array, this is a kind of first, uh, there are two elements are there in this array and this one also two and this one also two, something like this way. And the similar way you can, we can work for our slice as well as Let's say copy this one and here add it add it right here, and let's say my my slice courses right. So let's say right here available slice courses, and this one you can just remove all the all the strict parameter right here. Now you can see here in the my slice course it's a kind of multi-dimensional slice at this moment, right? The way we have just declared right here for our array, right? Only difference is we don't have a kind of strict size here in the, in the slice. But how we can add the, the values right here, but we know here and for, for array, how we can add some, something like this way, like you can assign some index right here and you can assign the value. But for the slice, how we can do that? In the similar way we can do like append, yeah, you know, providing that specific uh, slice name and the element. So let's try to do that. My slice, my slice, my slice curse equal to append. Right here, my slice name, yeah, my slice course name, and the element we need to provide. So let's try to create an element here. Let's say course, course, uh, course, and this is going to be kind of string here, right? And and because we are only going to implement like this kind of elements right here, right? So let's try to add. Let's say, in this case, let's say IAC and and cloud promising, right? Infrastructure as a code and the cloud promising. These are we are going to add one more course right here. So let's try to copy this one and add it right here. Can you see now it is it is added right here? There are no any kind of errors, right? Let's try to um, run the application. You can see now we have uh, available slice course one, two, three, four. We have four elements right here, right? So it's a kind of multi-dimensional array, like you know. Uh, poor arrays of array, something like that. And another way also you can do that, like without creating this specific course right here, you can directly uh, create something like this, right? So like like this, and you can say like string, right? And and provide here provide like uh, what were the the stuff is going to be like as an example React, all right? Or maybe reignite. Reignite. So this is also gonna work in a similar way. Right? Can you see? Like it is added, right? There are a couple of helper functions are available, which is going to help us to, to create uh, our our slice as well as as an example, the make. Make make is a kind of helper function which is going to help us to create our slice. If you are going to use the make to, to create slice, then you can you can create something like this way. Like my be my BE courses make and you can provide the type what kind of type it will be as an example you can set string integer whatever let's say I, if in this case I'm going to assign integer let's say and what will be the size of the the course and if you go to the uh, hover this one you can see like it has a it is a size right so the size maybe let's say size 2 and then third parameter will be capacity like how much it can hold or how much it can hold Right. So in this case, let's say we it can hold let's say ten. Right. So now you are you are creating a kind of slice, and hence we are not providing any kind of like you know uh, strict value right here inside this declaration. And and here in this slice you can assign the value. That is that is how it is going to work. Right. Perfect. So now I hope you got a clear understanding of how array and the slice is working, and what is the use cases of using array and the slice. Right. So in the upcoming episode, we are going to implement like all the array and the slice features in our real application. 
but uh, before that we need to finish it off like the map and the structure at least where we can write some kind of code for our our server for for spinning our RESTful APIs then let's take a break here i'm going to see you in the next episode with the map and the struct